tonight on the South Today. Fresh-faced students flock to Orientation Week's Tent City, but Dunedin police are on hand with a warning. Dodging parking wardens may be a thing of the past, as Dunedin's central city parking meters get a paperless upgrade. And a ball in the heart of Southland helps singles over the age of 50 find romance in style. Kia ora, good evening, I'm Hannah Wilkins. Orientation week is underway at tertiary institutions across the country. Dunedin's new intake of freshers are being welcomed with the familiar tent city at the Museum Reserve, with one stall encouraging a safer way to party. Dunedin's students packed in line this week at Tent City, trying to grab some freebies and discount deals. Freshers have flocked in their thousands to the Otago Museum Reserve as O-Week events began across North Dunedin. Students, new and returning, were able to grab some good deals and giveaways from local businesses, learn more about university life, or even just freshen up their look before classes begin. A bunch of businesses and organisations uh, and OUSA coming down to show them what they've got, show all the freshers, the first years at Otago, what we're all about. Police also had a presence there in preparation for the expected week of energetic partying. Officers are encouraging safe partying and promoting their website Good One where people can register their parties to let police know what's going on. Which basically enables um, students to register their parties with Good One, uh, which then um, notifies police and we can catch up with them early on to provide them with some great information around how to have a safe and lawful party and just enjoy themselves really. Tent City is set to finish up on Wednesday afternoon as the rest of Ori 23 winds up with the popular Toga Party kicking off a series of concerts through to the weekend. In Dunedin, the South today. An Invercargill nursing student with a passion for the outdoors is about to tackle an ambitious endurance walk for charity. Sturdy footwear is recommended for this walk as Hanny Hopsu plans to make a marathon 24-hour hike around Bluffs Loop Track. She's making the trip to help raise money for the Kiwi Care aid organisation in Ukraine and she's encouraging supporters to join her for some company. So there's an open invitation for people to come and join me for a lap, which would be amazing. So any people living around in Invercargill, I'd love to walk to people. Um, so depending on the pace, it'll be about one and a half hours to two and a half hours. And um, so roughly probably about 10 laps in the 24 hours. The keen trampers originally from Finland and says the Ukraine invasion came as a huge shock to people in her homeland. The country shares a border with Russia. Hopsu plans to start her walk at 10am next Friday to mark the one year anniversary of the invasion. In Invercargill, the South Today. More than 400 people visited Coronet Peak Ski Fields for a beer and food festival over the weekend. The mountain becomes a mecca for skiers every winter, but this year they're making the most of the summer season as well. There's no snow on these slopes, but spectacular views and plenty of outdoor space greeted visitors to the Coronet Peak Craft Beer and Barbecue Summit on Saturday. Eleven craft brewers came from around New Zealand to pour pints on the mountain. Coronet Peak say swapping ski goggles for beer glasses worked out well, despite a few challenges from the weather. A bit of, bit of drama getting some of the North Island ones down with all the weather and everything going on, but they made it, um, so stoked that they could. Um, we've also got what, four different um, food vendors as well from all over the South Island um, doing different barbecues. Summer access to the slopes is proving popular with mountain bikers, but organisers were mindful of the challenging road access. Yeah, we, we had a good, uh, good day out here. Bus was included, so a lot of people nice and safe getting up here and safe getting down um, and having a good time. The summit is part of a series of summer events plan to make the most of the good weather. Upcoming dates on the ski field include the National Mountain Biking Championships and a music festival. In Queenstown, the South today. Paper parking tickets are on their way out in Dunedin as the City Council announces a major change to the way residents pay for parking. 
The DCC will be rolling out pay-by-plate technology across all its central city parking spots as part of a major upgrade announced today. The City Council is estimating the move could save more than 100 kilometres of paper each year and is confident the new technology will be also a time saver for commuters. The new meters will still accept coins and cards as well as the Pay My Park phone app. However, drivers will need to type in their registration number so the meters can be monitored remotely. The Welcome Rock Trail on Blackmore Station is fast becoming a must-see attraction for keen cyclists and walkers. Now the Southland farm is also turning out spray-free vegetables, all thanks to an American gardener who put his down his bicycle and picked up a spade. A pocket of green amongst the dry hills of the Hector Mountains just outside of Kingston. Blackmore Station's hand-built Welcome Rock Trail is a magnet for mountain bikers. Wisconsin-born gardener Brendan Lopez was on a cycle tour of New Zealand in 2020 when he found himself locked down in Southland. Initially hired to process firewood, Lopez made an agreement to set up this organic-friendly market garden, which is now supplying some of the region's top chefs. Using careful crop rotations and a home-rigged irrigation system, this small plot is also supplying the Remarkables Market in Frankton. In Southland, the South Today. The Takatimu Tavern in Western Southland played host to a social event with a touch of glamour over the weekend. The Ballroom Blitz was an opportunity to bring together locals aged over 50 for a night of dancing and potentially a spot of romance. All dressed up with somewhere classy to go. Residents from around the Southland region got to put on their best 1920s attire and head for Wairio for the first annual Ballroom Blitz. The new social event was dreamt up as a way to give older Southland singles a venue to relax, socialise and maybe find love. Because how do you meet your mate when you're over 50? So it's about companionship, friendship, coming along and having a great time. Around 50 people made it to the Great Gadsby inspired dance, including one guest from Stewart Island. Organisers believe face-to-face -face events like this are still important in the internet age. Over 50s is that group of people were going online dating, you know, sites that they have for dating sites, and that's really, really scary. It really is. By the end of the evening, plenty of new friends were made among the group, with organisers already starting to think of possible themes for next year's meetup. And why Rio the South today? If I Yakane, still to come on the South Today. Invercargill shearers come up trumps at the Southern Shears recently, and pipe bands from across the country descend on Dunedin for a celebration filled with Scottish song. Drive away your way with three incredible offers on the Honda CRV Adventure Ready Range. Choose from 2.9% finance with zero deposit, third 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 finance, or lease a new CRV from just $136 per week. These offers are only available for a limited time, so be in quick. From Honda. Aero, used by Australia's top bowlers with their unique Z-Scoop grip that redefines the game. Machined with robotics for unparalleled accuracy, Aero, same line, every time. Garrett or Dunedin, delivering quality stylish garage doors in Dunedin for over 17 years. New doors, replacement doors and maintenance are all part of Garrett or's quality service. Garrett or Dunedin offers a full range of modern quality doors to suit any home. Come visit the team. Each Concern Otago hosts a multitude of social activities, including little walks. If you're at 
risk of developing melanoma skin cancer. You owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. Tēnā welcome back. Invercargill cleaned up at the Southern Shears competition last week, taking home the top two spots. The 57th Southern Shears Open competition was held at the Gore Showgrounds last Friday and Saturday. Invercargill shearers Leon Samuels and Nathan Stratford took first and second in the shearing competition, giving Samuels back-to-back -back wins at the event. The competition saw more entries than in previous years, with 90 shearers and 60 wool handlers taking part. The event went really well. We're, um, from the chairman's point of view, uh, everyone pulled together really well. We had great entries, um, really high standard of uh, shearing too, so, uh, and, and wool handling. Mataura also reaped the rewards, with shearer Cody Waihappy winning the junior finals and Autumn Waihappy taking out the senior wool handling. In Gore, the South today. Snare drums reverberated around the central streets of Dunedin on Sunday as pipe bands from around the country converged on the octagon. Fans of Scottish culture mingled with curious tourists along the parade route as a procession of tartan-clad pipe bands performed with military precision. The street march was one of three competitions held in Dunedin over the weekend for the annual Otago Southland Pipe Band Contest. The top troops will compete again at the National Pipe Band Contest in Christchurch next month. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South Today. Police warn Dunedin students to party safe as first years mingle at the university's tent city. The Dunedin City Council prepares a high-tech upgrade to parking meters, ultimately going paperless in the city. And some Southlanders looking for love dance the night away dressed to the nines at a special 1920s ballroom themed event. And time now for a look at the weather. The South Today weather, proudly brought to you by MoleMap, the skin cancer detection specialists. Looking at the situation, expect rain and chilly temperatures for the rest of the week due to a cold southerly air stream which will die out very slowly in the next few days. Heading to the top of the South Island, southwesterlies and late rain with 25 up in Nelson tomorrow. Over to Greymouth, you can also expect that rain to settle in with the freshening southeast winds and high of 19 degrees. Well, Christchurch is cooler again with 17 fresh southerlies and more of that rain. Travelling to South Canterbury and North Otago, gusty southerlies and rain right across the board here. By numbers, Ashburton and Timaru head for 15 degrees and Awamaru can expect 14 as the high. Heading westwards to the central lakes, gusty southeasterlies smack their way through here with that late rain settling in for the day too. Wanaka and Alexandra get up to 14 degrees tomorrow, Queen's down 13, all very dramatic changes after some very hot and dry weather lately. Heading further south, more low temperatures as we come over here. Expect decreasing south easterlies with easing rain, along with 13 degree highs across the board for Balclutha, Gore and the Catlins. But keep in mind those southerlies will get quite gusty there on the coast. And down to the deep south. Cloudy tonight in Invercargill with showers and fresh winds with an overnight low of 8 degrees. Tomorrow those conditions continue, so it'll be wet and windy with a high of 13 degrees. Into Thursday, the clouds should clear and winds lighten up to just fresh south easterlies with a 15 degree high. And finally, heading to Dunedin. 
Rain tonight with strong southerlies and 14 degrees overnight. Rain eases to showers from early afternoon tomorrow with strong cold southerlies. The high will be 14 degrees. Into Thursday, cloudy with more showers and fresh gusty southerlies along with a high of 12 degrees. And that's the news this Tuesday. For the latest news and videos from the southern region, head online to odt.co.nz. And you can follow Channel 39 on YouTube to catch our news bulletins on demand. We'll see you again tomorrow. Ka kite o popo. Public interest journalism funded through New Zealand On Air. You're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer. You owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. Living Well Disability Resource Centre, a not-for-profit charitable organisation and your one-stop shop for information and resources to help you retain independence. We offer a wide range of assistive products from jar openers to mobility scooters and provide assessments for Total Mobility, the half-price taxi scheme. Come and see the friendly team. You'll find us on the corner of George and Bath Streets, ground floor of Burns House. Drama, competition, rivalry, marketing, numbers, atmosphere, power, fight, attack, intuition, love, hate, money, cash, millionaires, fans, 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 and fans. <laughs> oh boy. Every day the team at Gillian supports grieving families at their time of need, from answering your questions to organising a farewell that reflects the wishes of your loved one. We can help. Call Gillian's today.